Hello Capricorn, this is your end of June, beginning of July reading. Okay, so this spread is south, <laughs> south, west, east, north. This is present, this is behind you, this is what's in front of you, and this is your what you should do about it. Okay, I've just pulled these four because I want to pull um, some of these cards that I wanted to start on my meditation and so it didn't take forever for you but we do have temperance here okay this is current this is balancing of emotions balancing of maybe a situation um, because you're uh, your uh, what lies behind you is a judgment call a rebirth and this is stepping into your rebirth because you have balanced out oh sorry I'm not, I didn't mean to lay it out like that I did not fall out like that just so you know alright but that is the nine of pentacles for what lies in front of you which is independently uh, taking on we have power that's fallen out here Power, almost like your rebirth. Okay, I don't know if I said this for Capricorn. Hello to my continuous viewers. Hello to my new viewers. I'm trying out the new just see the cards type of thing for today. I'm still here, still sitting pretty. <laughs> okay, I just want to pull one for each, and under and the underlying card here, the underlying energy is the Ace of Swords. Okay, and in this deck, it's still clarity, but it's also um, acknowledging your truth, speaking a harsh truth, so you can come to union, like a spiritual awakening with that. All right. So let's see. Bum, ba, dum, bum. I want to get what lies behind you and what lies ahead of you meeting real quick. Here, I'll pause it for this nonsense. Okay, so power lightning is just backing up the judgment call. It is saying that you can make a judgment call and use it for good or bad, but the power is always with it in you okay then we have rainbow blessings on the other side on the east side for the future which is saying the storm has passed you're able to look back at the choices that you made and recall how you've grown through them which is nine of pinnacles right nine of pinnacles to me is like balancing of oneself um, being more independent, watching your money, um, going from the seven to the nine, right? Because, of course, you've already worked on the seeds that you planted. The seven is like looking at barren land. Eight is working very, very hard. And nine is coming into that fruition. The last step is a ten. But you can't get to a ten, which is what you should do about it, until you, of course come in a union with something. This does not always mean a love interest, even though this is like a love um, soul meeting card. Okay, the two of cups is what you should do about the situation. So your, your present is you, you've evened out. Okay, you have made a decision based off um, a judgment call that you made in your recent past. You've stepped back into some power of yours. I don't believe it's for evil, <laughs> okay, which has helped you do like a rebirth, a rethinking, you you have a different mind frame, you've made the judgment call, you know, you've either resurrected something or put it to rest, okay, you either got called or you got left behind, but with the blessings out in front of me and the nine of pentacles, you put it to rest and you gave yourself a rebirth, you took it, all right? So, this is, this is a general reading, by the way, it's gender neutral. So, 
you can take this how it resonates. If you want a more personal reading, you can go to toriantaro 84 at gmail.com and we'll discuss your payment options and your three questions. So moving on. This is an overall good reading. Okay. So it's pretty much telling me you had to release some of this baggage and come into harmony with yourself. You had to recognize some old patterns, some old job, release some old lover. However, this fits for you because it's general. I'll say that many, many times. But it's able to even you out. You are an earth sign, so we're pretty good at self-analyzation, working hard to get these pinnacles here to balance ourselves out. We will make our own blessings. Once the rain clears, we need a little bit of focus. That is the next card that's on the bottom. Okay. We like to focus. We like to self-analyze. And what can be our next step? Okay. So this is your, what lies ahead of you. And that's what step you need to make. That is saying that you need to come into union. You need to recognize the gifts that have been given to you by spirit. Okay. Those are your blessings. And you need to hunker down and focus on what it is that you want. And that's what you should go towards. Because you have received the clarity. It was like an epiphany. Boom. You know, lightning strike epiphany. Because you've released some addictions. Some sneaky people, sneaky behavior. You have you have released all this. I want you to be able to see this. Okay, those are in reverse. You're no longer confused. That's in reverse too. Okay? You are no longer confused. You are stepping out. You made the judgment call. You're using your power for good. To come into unity either with a job, a creation, money, or a partner. That's your next move after you come into alignment with yourself. You focus more on yourself. That's when the blessings will come to you, Cappy. All right. Let's see if we can get more clarity for Capricorn on the... I would like to finish my sentence, please, Spirit. <laughs> on the Two of Cups, what it is that they need to do, of course. What is the move that you need to make? We're clarifying that. That is with the Hermit. That is going within so you can gain more focus on what it is that you need to do and to release what you've already released. So now it's what move can you now make? It is the Tortoise, which is slow, but he is being guided by his inner wisdom. Give me more clarity on the Nine of Pentacles and Two of Cups for Capricorn about what lies ahead of them and what is the move that they need to make, please, about these blessings that are coming to them. You've already done the work, or you will. <laughs> okay, because I've noticed Spirit is two weeks, two months uh, behind or ahead. Okay. They're not organized. <laughs> kind of like me. So, what, what is this clarity here? You have a lot of major arcana, though, I do want to say on uh, the board. Mm. That's a reverse. This card, the Four of Pentacles, is not like lost. It's more like greed, letting go. Um, like if you love someone, let them be free. They'll come back if they're meant for you. Um, don't be, don't, don't be a rat. <laughs> don't be greedy. Or sneaky someone or maybe that was a job or a person that you release let's get some judgment here what about judgment I got told to put that upside ha huh. Where are you? Father of Pentacles means something different in this deck. So give me one moment. Oh. I got too many damn decks. They all mean something different. 
really need to focus on this. Entrepreneurial. Okay. Okay. Someone out there made a judgment call on being their own boss or gaining more money, becoming more steady, and that's how it's helped even you out. Okay, gentle. Upon meeting, he can almost seem dull because he's extremely calm and he has a lot of temperament. But underneath is an incredibly passionate man who prioritizes the stability of his job, family, and home. He's a diligent, true pleasure to know. Okay, well, this go a lot of ways. You could have released one of these people, released a boss, decided to poof it out on your own because you could make more money. That's how you evened out. Okay, release in person, place, or thing. That's how you evened out by making that judgment call to make more money. Okay. If you don't want to be greedy with love or finances, you just want to be able to be stable. You want to be able to come into union and be happy, emotionally happy and independent. And that's how you gain your blessings after you realize that you have the power to do this and gain the focus come out of la la land here what's the overall outcome for my Capricorn please what is the overall outcome for the near future of this scenario for my Capricorn please <laughs> okay you are the fool and the set of pinnacles See it? The Fool and the Seven of Pentacles. That's what fell out for you. That is your uh, your outcome in the near future. You are taking this leap. You're not sure if you're really ready to fly, but you are ready to leave. That is going to give you a small, steady offer. Alright? By being the Fool, you're not sure if your wings are completely ready which is like the page of pentacles here. Dedicated, quiet, and loyal. Determination. Inventive, wholeheartedly. Don't be stubborn and don't be persistent. That could be the Four of Cups. And don't be socially awkward. Okay. But whatever you are taking this leap towards, you are giving your wholehearted dedication to. So you can have this. Blessings, blessings, blessings. Okay. All right, Cappy, please like, share, subscribe, and comment. Let me know what's going on. Hit the notification bell. That lets you know when I upload, maybe when your videos come up. All right, you will get all 12, so I apologize. Um, thanks for getting me to my second plateau. And I'll catch you on the flip side. Good luck.